All right, good morning. It's the start of a week here with me, and we're off to do some trees. Um, I'm real selective with what trees I take on, mainly because it scares the shit out of me going up real big trees. So unless it's a clean drop, unless I uh, think, oh yeah, I can cope with that one, I don't do it. I got all my tickets and all that for climbing. I did all that years ago. But um, yeah, I don't do too many trees. These trees are a couple of firs and bits and bobs that are in the corner of the garden of that massive hedge that we did, the corner of the hedge, right at walk in the middle. Um, I took it on because I thought, well, the customers seem nice and it seems like a straight enough job, bar a couple of cables that are there. And um, in fairness, because the conifer hedge job was underpriced, I thought this would level itself out. Um, so yeah, I will take you there now. I'm gonna pick some stuff up. Go and pick rod up and we're gonna go and do it. Got a little green mech chipper on as well that runs through the waste. Anyway, thanks for checking in. See you in a bit. So we come in just below that wire. So I'll do the one on the left first, the one on the right and the couple at the back. Just drag it down to the lawn and then um, we'll get the chipper out. Right, I'm tied on. Not too sure how much I'll be able to film for this, but I'll give it a go.
So all the tops of that are out and uh, chipped up and gone. Um, yeah, job done. All right, so we got all those trees uh, topped out. Um, like I say, I'm quite picky on the tree work that I do. Would I do tree work if I hadn't had the tickets years ago? And would I get into it now? I don't think I would. I think I keep my feet on the floor. So if you are a gardener and you're thinking about going into like the arb side of it, tree work, then you've got to really think that you need all the gear. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go into it, you've got to go into it. You need all the chippers, the tippers, the rigging gear. You've got to do it all because otherwise, it's an expensive game to do your tickets, to buy your chainsaws and all your climbing gear just to be picky like me. Lucky enough, I picked the gear up over time and the experience. Um, so yeah, I can pick and choose. No, like I say, there's no difference to me if I do it or don't do it. Um, but if you're thinking about, I'm going to go into tree work and I'm going to get my climbing gear, my licenses, get insured, get a chipper, you're, you're talking a lot of money. You will make it back, it's a hard old game, um, but yeah, have a think about it before you invest. Because I think sometimes you're going to make as much money if, you, if you're good at your job by just cutting grass and doing maintenance. I know in the summer I turn down all these types of things because I would much rather have my maintenance rounds be owned by three o'clock, made the money for the day, and no real hard work. So, um, so yeah, tree work. If you're gonna do it, do it. What's the saying? Go big or go home. So, go all in or don't. Yeah, but there we go. Anyway, thanks for listening and uh, thanks for subscribing, like the video and all that jazz, and I'll catch you next time. You guys take care.